All right. Oh, bombardier, bombardier, bombardier. All right. We got to take the photo and then drop the bomb. All right, everybody. Welcome back to Bomber Crew, the game of crewing bombs. No, you're crewing a bomber. But what we're going to do today is we got we to gotta rename our plane. It is called Planey McPlane Face. We need a new one. Beastie Boy suggestion, which was highly voted. What did I just spell? Was the Bouncing Toasty. Now, we need to also, you know, change our livery here. So let's go with the, uh, the waste text. Plainy McPlane face? No, sorry, Bob, not anymore. We are the Bouncing Toasty. Now, the cool thing about British accents, other than the fact that I'm terrible at them, is that there's so many different accents. Like, for all the different areas and regions, and, oh god, we got a lot of money. None of you told me how to upgrade this plane. You all were like, how do we name the crew, and what do we name the plane? So now I gotta do this all by myself. Bears Brigade, where are you at? Give me some tips on how to do this, all right? Do we want the fuselage armor? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, look at that. Look at that beautiful armor. How are we doing on weight? Ooh, it's getting... No, we're, we're fine, we're fine. Gun turrets. Oh, man, dude. Oh, man, dude, man. Oh, look at this. We go from two to fours. And we basically increase our damage by two-fold. This is what we're doing. What? Don't tell me how to live my life, game. All right, fine. We'll upgrade the engines. Jeez, jeez, jeez. So we've got armored. Wow, this one's, this one's way back in the Stone Age. What does the gun turret cost? Wait, tail turret. We need 3,500. So we can only spend about 2,800 on engines. This might not work doing it now we go to their gun turret and we get the 303s we get four of these bad boys spitting out that what is it uh 0.303 caliber or like basically i think it's like seven millimeters somewhere in there seven point something something i don't know what them british use over there across the pond oh we haven't even installed it here I'm no it wouldn't you're lying to me i thought we just did this oh that's because we got armored engines i guess you kind of have to right so we bought a crap engine. Mistakes have been made, guys. Ooh boy, ooh boy, ooh boy. You know what we need to do? We need to do... Well, we don't even know. Let's go ahead and check the briefing here. Fine, whatever. God. He's just punching me in the nuts. You know what I'm talking about. So we need about 2,000 more dollars. Let's go see what we got on the missions. Now, Baron's Brigade, I know a lot of you guys have been asking to see a little bit more of Bomber Crew. If you'd like to see more and you want it to be more frequent, you know what to do. You know how the process goes and what attracts the attention. Resistance weapons drop? Ooh, this is cool. Now, look at all that poundage right there. That's some serious poundage. Poundage meaning the, the money we get, not the amount of ordnance we drop on enemies. Enemy armor down for next two missions? I'm gonna save that one. This one's a doodle bug blitz. Now this one's only 3,000. It would give us, you know what, let's, let's do what I want to call a milk run. We're going on a milk run. I'll skip the, the little itty tiddly bits. Oh, you know what? And after this, we'll rename the crew because some of you guys had some pretty cool suggestions. So stay posted, stay frosty, take off. Come on, bouncing toasty. You've been on a grand mission now. It's been a little, it's been a few days. So we might be a little bit rusty. Let's go ahead. R and then was it F? I think. Let's see if that works. Oh shoot, we didn't do the thing. All right, I got it, I got it. Oh wow, we gotta we gotta raise this gear too. And let's go ahead and do our fuel boy. Where are you at, son? What's your name? Bensi. Mr. Bensi, we're gonna go lean. Lean and clean, baby. So yeah, the doodle bug or the German UFOs basically are V1 rocket buzz bombs. We're gonna be targeting their launch point. We're gonna be Blitzing them doodle bugs. Well, I guess technically it was called the doodle bug blitz because they were attacking the United Kingdom. What is, what's all, what was that? Destroy? Oh God, we're on. Bensi, Mr. Bensley, let's do a boost. I know I just told you to keep it. All right, who is my front gunner? Checker, focus, focus. Oh, you know what? I should be bombing that. Did Right? Right? Was I supposed to do that or just shoot it? Oh god, there's so many planes out here. Hold on, who's on my radar? I tell you what. 
Bensi, I don't know. I think I'm supposed to hit this thing. Are we gonna have it? I don't know. Did we get it? <laughs> we missed! Ooh, this milk run is going crap. What the heck? What the heck? We didn't even get hit and we broke our engines on landing. I mean, so, wow, already, already. This is not going well. Y'all returned, yeah, we get it, you suck. Whoever's your commanding officer, me? <clears throat> yeah, messed up. We actually got some experience though. Surprisingly enough, I think it, it looked like marginal experience for the pilot. Look at that tour of duty. We've completed 30 missions, I guess. All right, you know what? Screw it, man. So he's like, excuse me, gentlemen, what happened on your last mission? And I would respond, sheer incompetence, sir. Now, unfortunately, we went from going on a milk run to having to do a mission where there's an enemy ace in the area. Let's go ahead and check out our enemy aces. So is it going to be Gunnar Gunther or Bruno Brennan? Alliteration all over these gentlemen, but this is only, we've only seen three out of a potential eight enemy aces. And look, look at this. I feel like we're on the key mission four, but we've only eliminated one of these guys. And I wanted the machine guns to deal with these aces. So this is a problem. Ooh, but this one doesn't have an enemy ace in the area. Just these three. All right, fine. This isn't technically the English Channel if we go up here. This is what, the North Sea? Would it be the North Sea? I'm not entirely sure on my geography of these oceans. Oh, good Lord, we've got enemies coming in. Hello, gentlemen. I hope you all die, but it is a pleasure to meet you. And please go. Let's go ahead and give you some focus fire here, boys. Come on and take out them enemies. Where did that accent come from? See, I can't hold my accents. Are they just on a patrol and... There we go. Open fire. There's one down. There's two down. And there's three down. Gentlemen, gentlemen, stay frosty. That was beautiful. Quite right, old chap, quite right. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and let's actually check the map. Yeah, we're about there, so let's go ahead and radio for recon. Man, I tell you what, when you, when you haven't played in a few days, you can get a little bit rusty and you can forget all the fundamentals that make you such an efficient and successful bomber crew in the past. Okay, we do have enemy flak, but we are going to go on the outskirts of it, but you can see it exploding a little over here to, uh, what would that be? I guess that would be the uh, southeast. South, southeast. Aye, south by southeast, Captain. All right, what do we got over here? We got some, hopefully, some message Schmidt, something that goes down real easy, like. Now, let's go with our nose gunner. We'll give you the focus this time. You should be able to fire first. And then, can, when is your focus ready? Oh, yeah, we won't need it. We should be able to knock these guys down. Nicely done. All right, you get ammo. You get ammo. You've been firing. Might as well, like, when there's no action, there's no reason not to go to full ammo belts. We don't have an enemy ace, though. I cannot wait till we get the, ooh, those uh, quad 303s on the uh, tail section, man. I think that'll really help when it comes time to, okay, here we go. Bombardier to your station. Checker. Check it out, mate. <laughs> you see what I did there? Let's go ahead and, oh, whoa. Checker, checker. All right, so the target is in range. Oh, I was gonna say, are there no enemy fighters? Normally this is when they jump on you. Well, they did. And we've got nobody in the nose turret, do we? Oh well, we'll release. Here we go. Release! Oh my god, I right clicked? Alright, checker. Let's go ahead and uh, close those doors. And get up there. Now where's the, where's the photo op? There's no photo op this time. Did that plane hit us? It sounded, it looked like it exploded like on us. Dude, what if what if there was like a Japanese expansion and they could do Kamikaze? Oh, yeah, those are just more Messer Schmitz. Mechanic to your gunnery station, sir. Everybody focusing. Ooh, you know what? Give you some incendiary rounds. Take them out, take them out, take them out. Is everybody dead? Oh, I was going to say there's there's Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's an explosion. Okay. Oh, he's on fire, man. What is this? The objective, sir. Make it back home safely. That is your objective now. There was no photo op this time around. Really interesting. Enemy fighters on the horizon. Strap in, boys. 
Hold on to your butts. What is that? Is that the moon or a star? Yo no sé nada. It's un mystery. Myst How do you say mystery in Spanish? A misterioso. That would be the adjective form, right? Oh man, I maybe that was a little early. Now defensive, I think they automatically start firing. They don't necessarily have to hit. Oh, these guys were reloading their belts. But I think three Messerschmitts, we shouldn't have a we shouldn't have much trouble, especially with how armored and well armed this is. Armored and armed, boys. I, I'm I'm hyping you up to the to Baron's Brigade right here, and you ain't performing. You ain't delivering. Rat. We've got wind of a suspicious sight in Belgium. Oh, there it is. Okay, well, I need an objective for you to do that. There it is. We gotta check fuel, though, to make sure that we're good there. Hmm. There will need to be some lean. Come on, boys, get them. You, 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 you guys are better than that. I believe in you. Man, weak sauce. Yeah, well done, well done. Bensley, you're gonna reload that one. But then go back to the gas. So then... All right, here it is. Checker, get to the nose, sir. You're gonna have to take our recon photography. Ooh, look at these little islands. Now we go back to the bombardier. Are any enemy fighters in the area? No. What is this? Is this? A, oh, it's a V1 uh, buzz bomb spot. The UFOs. This is where they come from. The Bruges ahead. Enemy fighters on radar. All right. Oh. 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 Wow. Nice. Let's go ahead and auto-tag them. Those are- that's- oh, the, I was gonna say that's only three. Let's get you the focus and you the focus and incendiary. Boom, boom, boom! Look at that, man! It just- they just riggedy riggedy wrecked, son. Alright, now we're heading back to base, I presume? Yes, we are. Okay, now, Bensley, let's go ahead and do the lean. I think we're good on fuel, but you never really know. Sometimes we're gonna take this time here. Now, you see all this ocean. My imagination run wild, runs wild when it comes to video games. Because I think about it like, what would I do if I had, you know, creative license to just run with what is, in my opinion, an excellent game. Excellent gameplay, the fundamentals, just like the mechanics of it are pretty good. But how would I expand on it, right? I wonder about, like, obviously, the next things would be like, you could do different bombers. Like American B-17s, B-29s, B-25s, stuff like that. There's plenty of giant British bombers as well. You know, we're talking. But then, what if you could implement different styles of vehicles for different types of missions and different styles of gameplay? Imagine a flying boat, a PBY Catalina for the Americans or the Sunderland for the British. So when it's like, oh, there's some downed pilots over, you know, the channel. Let's go get them. You actually have to land there, pick them up, then take off. It would be a little bit more... Maybe it could be a little more micro-intensive, right? And you don't have to do that, but, like, it would be cool to have that option, right? So we're gonna go ahead and lower our gear. I like to do this just so I don't have to, like... So I don't get the timing wrong. Last time we landed and, and it seemed fine and we just we just crashed. I'm not sure why that was, right? So, but then it's like, what if you had the airfield and you had different crews? Like, you know, to really just go deep. I've got the bouncing toasty here, but like, what if I had five crews? And then like, man, let's just be honest, you know, some of these missions like, man, that's a suicide mission. You send your suicide squad out there. And, you know, maybe they don't come back, but that was the mission they were sent on. You could play as different nations, but if you could control the airfield and have multiple planes and multiple crews, we better have gotten enough. I think we did was the Bremen Tank Factory, return to base. We didn't do the slow, and give me the big money monies, the photo op. I did the photo op! What? You know what I'm talking about? We all saw it. Was I supposed to destroy it? That's weird, man. I would say, <clears throat> I would say that's a, that, I don't know, man, I, that's a glitch or something. There's something wrong here, because I should, I should have gotten like 3,000 extra pounds to upgrade my uh, bouncing toasty. It's a bouncing toasty. All right, so let's see if we can't fight one of these aces. Now, to do that, we're going to have to go. Now, before we go out, we might lose some people. And we've got some, and, you know, as a result, then you got to have them named. So the tail turret, do I want the tail turret or the ventral? Ventral's the 50 cals, and they do more damage. Whoa. Actually, the damage per second is considerable. And I think that this guy, the ventral turret, is the key position. 211 per second versus 373. But then we got the 50s Mark II. 
And maybe one more mission. I'm gonna go with the tail turret here. Yeah, because that's the weaker spot. We're gonna install it. Oh my god, why are you breaking my bows? How do I how do I uninstall something to give me less weight? Can we do that? <laughs> Let's see. Oh I can. I can I can Yeah We can do it this way. Wait, which one do we need? Sorry, we're gonna do that and we're gonna get the med pack. Just to get these gun turrets, man. You know, sometimes you do what you gotta do, man, and that's what we just did. Look at that. That is... Oh, yeah. So now let's go to the crew, and we're gonna rename them. So, Cyan... Now, here's the thing. Okay, here we go. So, we've got Bensley. He's our mechanic. You know what? Eleron's suggestion was to rename the crew after YouTuber friends of mine, right? So we could definitely do that. So, Walter Bensley, and you know what, this is gonna be eh, Leron, since you, sir, had the suggestion, Mr. Eleron, Mr. B Drawers, and you know what, B Drawers, you are going to be, let's go with D, Dragast. I saw the DRE and I was like, you gotta go with it, and Cyan, you're gonna keep your position. Now, which one was the rear gunner? I always forget it. Checker's the front, I think C Hill's the rear. So, Checker is our Bombardier, right? And I'm gonna go with Blitzy Blutes. Man, if these YouTubers die in this battle, dude, it's gonna be sad because they're not gonna be uploaded again because they, they fell in action. Now, I think it's Sea Hill. Now, this one, Random Gaming was saying, name the rear gunner. We're gonna go with Trigger McHappy. I hope I got this right. Trigger McHappy. Yeah, boy. And then, for the last one, we're gonna go... Oh, and it's perfect since he's the top gunner. This is great. This is great. This is great. Mr. C. Top. But we gotta make it toppy. You know, C. Toppy there. There we go. Look at that. We got Blitzy, Blutzy, C. Toppy, Trigger McHappy, Cyan, Dragast, Eleron, and myself, Baron Von Toasty, leader of this beautiful expedition. Let's go fight ourselves an ace, boyos. Let's go fight ourselves an ace. What's this? Enemy ace. It's short duration. There's medium risk. This is the perfect place and the perfect way. Yes, we're going to do that. And it's high risk. Yeah, we're not going to fight. Do you know what? We are going to, as the great Sun Tzu probably once said, those other guys suck. But in all serious, we, we are going to pick the battlefield here. Gentlemen, take off. It is time for glory. But before that, remember, this is pro tip. Everybody, get ammo. Liron, you're getting ammo. Look at how fast Liron is compared to the guys who are better armored. And drop it there. Now that you've done that, this one should be three out of three, because normally I think the stock is... Look at that! We did get Trigger Man happy in the back. We got C-Top right there. C-Top, you better do us some goodness. We got Dre on the navigation and Blutzy... Blutzy is in the front there, Mr. Blitzy Blutzy. We're getting reports that an enemy ace pilot, Gunnar Gunther, is active. Oh, dude, trigger my happy face. Look at this, man. You're gonna have so much... You're gonna have so many guns. All right, let's take off. The task here is once the enemy ace is found, what we're going to do is I'm not gonna auto-tag until I know, like, that we've already defeated the ace. I'm gonna have to manually tag all of the enemy planes, right? Because what we're going to try to do is when the ace is sighted, we will only manually tag him. Then we'll move this guy to the gunnery position, or maybe he'll already be there. Or he might be bombing, you know, he might be doing... Liron, Eleron, you, you have a... You're one of the most important people in this crew right now, okay? And, uh... We're gonna manually focus, or rather manually identify? Target? Yeah, target. Target! The enemy ace. Everybody's gonna be focused up. We're gonna try to bring him down real quick like and now that we've got these look at this Look at that machine gun. Oh my god quad 303 son get your rat Rat everybody practice it. Oh, man. That's a lot of enemies Four enemies are they Messerschmitts? Lord knows nose gonna blitzy blitz Defeat them sir. Wow blitz and then, uh, C Toppy here, just taking these guys down. Let's go ahead and reload that. Alright, we should be relatively close to the objective. And then, I think we're gonna keep Eleron. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna do Eleron. On the, uh, Bombardier this time, you know? Okay, so that's just three coming out high. It could be Fockwolves. I don't know. 
You don't say nada. All right, it's just what an armor depot. Now we're gonna hang around the area till we get this ace. All right, get ready. There's one down. There, yeah, it looks like two. Release the bombs. There he is. Hello, sir. Where are you? Where is you? There, or is that you? No, that's not you at all. There you are. There he is. He's doing maneuvers and stuff, boys. All right, we're going to try this. All right. Oh, bombardier, bombardier, bombardier. All right. We got to take the photo and then drop the bomb. Look at that. Guna Gunter, you going down, son? Take a seat. All right. Now we can auto tag these fools. And we probably should auto for recon. Look at that. All right, how are we doing? Ammo, ammo. That's a nice little little tidbit. All right, Eleron. You may now go to the gunnery position, sir. Okay, we've got five enemies up right now. Dude, that would like, did you see how quickly we evaporated that fool? He had no chance. He is not the Uber pilot. We are the Uber crew. Uber pilot versus Uber crew, who wins? Well, you saw. Come on, there's only three of them. They're Fock Wolves, so they're they're a little better armored and armed. I know that some of the Fock Wolves could be just armed with like... So, like, we're using machine guns, but some of those fighters had like auto cannons. Are you gonna... Are you gonna take out that guy who's... Yeah, that guy on fire? All right, reload, boy, reload. All right, I think we're pretty good, though, all, all things considered, man. We just wiped out that ace, man. I'm really happy with the... With how our crew did. All right, so we might move Eleron to do our... Let's check out the fuel situation, Eleron. Eleron, Eleron, Eleron. Guys, this is pretty good. So I'm thinking that for Cyan and Eleron... Cyan's been in two episodes. Eleron's first. If there's some really, really good comments, they're highly voted. I'm going to go ahead and replace... You know... Oh, look at that, see? There's a U-boat. I don't know how you can bomb them. I knew I saw that. I was doing this like without recording one time. I was just doing some milk run missions to upgrade the plane after we lost everybody. What was that? Episode three or four, I think. And all of a sudden like U-boats, like there was an update and U-boats just started popping up on the channel. And I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. I think it's cool that like, I wonder if there's there would be a mission where you have to bomb like one of the big armored U-boat pens and then like, if you did, there were less U-boats, right? Or at a certain time in the war, there's less U-boats. All right, let's go ahead and put our lower the gear down. Radio for recons ready to use? Well, let's do it. Everybody's doing their abilities, man. I don't want to. I don't want to do any maneuvers with my pilot, or we will crash and we will die. All right, the bouncing toasty has made itself back. Well done, gentlemen. Well done. All things considered, twas a victory. Twas a victory indeed for a bouncy toasty. The bouncing toasty. Now we haven't gotten the uh, intel yet on this key mission. I'm curious what the fourth one is. But Gunnar Gunta has been defeated. So 4,000 pounds. And look at this. Okay, I was going to say, where's the optional? Oh, I can't see. I can't see how much it is. Because my plane's in the way. I wish you could, like, cross these out or something, because I really am curious to see how much we got for that. I know it's a ton. All right, we could, I guess we could add it up. What do we have? Like, I don't know. But we got a lot of stuff, man. We got a lot of pounds. And so, Baron's Brigade, what I'm curious to know is how should we upgrade? You guys, you guys have played the game. Many of you have played it. Many of you watched it. Some of you know that, like, what are the best? Ooh, boys. We got skills. We got skills. Ooh, Scott, call, call Spitfires. Cyan, look at you, son. And Eleron, you guys have both been leveled up a lot. Everybody else has made it back. It's good. It's good to be part of the Bouncing Toasty. So what I'm looking for for the next episode is a change of name. Aircraft upgrade, gun turret. Which one is this? The ammo feed. Oh, that's probably the rear, but we don't need ammo feed, man. Because we'll just run them back now that we know the shortcuts. All right, let's go see if we have the next mission. I'm very curious to see what it is. If we have the big red critical one. No, not yet. This is uh, search and rescue. We've got the the uh, attacking in an enemy airfield, which is always a pretty cool one. Resistance weapons drops is a new one. 
We're basically feeding, uh, like, or not feeding, uh, well, yeah, maybe, maybe it could be food and ammunition. The, uh, French resistance fighters going up against them Nazis. Those Nazis are very displeasing. Anyway, guys, my name is Baron. Thank you for watching another episode of Bomber Crew. I will see you guys in the next episode. Please let me know how we should upgrade our vehicle. Fun little tidbits and stuff like that. You know, highly upvoted comments that are relevant and helpful and just funny in general. Those people will be put into the crew in our Bomber Crew. See you guys in the next one.